Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Another amazing woman in the Wild West, Nellie Cashman. Let's look into it. We've spoken about some of the rough and tough ladies of the West, like Stagecoach Mary and Calamity Jane. Yeah, they were gun-toting, quick-punching, cigar-smoking, pants-wearing gals who also actually helped people. However, some tough folks in the Old West did not pack guns. Slowpoke Rodriguez, he pack a gun. Nellie Cashman was one of those. Not the gun packer, but the tough philanthropist. Let me just explain. Please do so. Thank you. Ellen Nellie Cashman was born in Ireland in 1845. Around 1850, her mother brought her and her sister to the east coast of America to escape the famine in Ireland. When Nellie was 20, the family moved to San Francisco. She had a penchant for hospitality services and eventually went with her mom to Peoch, Nevada, where they opened a boarding house. That was a successful establishment during the Silver Strike, and she did well and sold the place in 1873. In this time period, we also find out what she looked like. The popular image of Nellie, which you may have all seen, is actually not a photo, but an artist's rendering. This is the real Nellie Cashman. In 1874, there was gold being found in British Columbia. Nellie, realizing the good fortune she had in Nevada, moved up there and started a boarding house. Some of the payments she received went to grub staking miners and donations to the Sisters of St. Anne. Okay, here's where it gets really good. Yeah! A snowstorm in the Cassiar Mountains stranded over 70 miners who were suffering from malnutrition and injuries. Nellie headed a six-man search party and 77 days later rescued the miners and administered medicine and food. Through this, she gained the well-deserved title Angel of Cassiar. Following the opportunities, Ms. Cashman headed to Tucson in 1879 and opened the very popular Delmonico's restaurant. After that, she moved to Tombstone for the Silver Strike. There, she opened the Russ House, a restaurant and hotel, continued to make money off of her mining interests, and fed some of those down on their luck. Yeah, she was kind of busy. Whoa, Nellie! Likely with the help of Wyatt Earp, Nellie used the Crystal Palace Saloon to hold church services until enough money was raised to build Tombstone's first Catholic church. Ever the entrepreneur, she had a number of businesses going in the boomtown, but also found time and money to help the miners develop their claims. When Nellie's sister died, she took on yet another task of raising the five children. Somehow, she also managed to thwart a lynch mob set on canceling a mine owner by sneaking him out of Tombstone. Hey, how you doing? All these amazing acts earned her the moniker Angel of Tombstone. She eventually moved on to other mining adventures and ended up back in Canada during the Yukon Gold Strike. Yep, she was still grub staking miners and raising money for the Catholic Church. During all this, you'd think a pretty gal like her would have married. But she never did. Miss Cashman apparently thought men were a nuisance. Nellie stayed in Canada this time and continued to keep her thumb on the heartbeat of the gold strikes. Ellen Nellie Cashman died on January 25, 1925 in Victoria, British Columbia. At the time of her death, she was called the Angel of Miners. Good heavens, that makes her a three-time angel. There's one more angel in heaven. Sky. We at Arizona Ghostwriters wholeheartedly agree. Bless you, Nellie. And uh, Nellie Cashman was quite the philanthropist. So she had multiple husbands. No, I, that's a that's a polygamist. Oh, 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 oh. A philanthropist is someone who goes and gives with the, with with every fiber of their soul to other people. You know? Oh. Yeah. Someone like me. Yes, someone like you. Someone that helps people. Yeah, right. I'm here to help. Folks, thanks for watching.
And as always, hey, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. I got that part right. You fooled me. Maybe you're a hypnotist. I am. Just call me Mr. Witchy. <laughs> Mr. Witchy. <laughs>